Welcome to Sideline Sports, where we give you an up close and personal look at the teams, coaches, and athletes that make up the South Sound. Here's your host, Jeff Slakey. Welcome to the show. This week, Shelton football traveling to Central Kitsap. Capital looks to stay undefeated. The Clippers host Highline, and our game of the week it's Shelton football hosting Timberline. This portion of Sideline Sports is brought to you in part by Mason General Hospital, United Community, Empowered People, Exceptional Health. High Climber Football traveled to Silverdale in search of their first win. It was a South Sound Conference battle Friday night with Central Kitsap hosting Shelton at Silverdale Stadium. Tough defense from both teams had the game scoreless after the first quarter. The Cougars would then go on to score 23 unanswered points in the second quarter, including two touchdown runs from quarterback Elijah McGee, leading 23-0 at halftime. Central Kitsap would go on to add four touchdowns in the second half on their way to a 50-0 shutout victory. Central Kitsap quarterback Elijah McGee finished with three rushing touchdowns, and Cougar running back Alex Reflong fell the end zone three times as well. Central Kitsap are back on the field Friday at Peninsula. Shelton are set to host Timberline at High Climber Stadium. I'm Sean Wells for Fiber One Sports. Sideline Sports is being brought to you in part by the Gillis Auto Center. At Gillis, you're covered forever. The Cougars were looking to stay undefeated on the road at Shelton. It was a home match at Oakland Bay Junior High for Shelton Volleyball hosting top-ranked Capital Tuesday night. The Cougars were looking to stay unbeaten in South Sound Conference play. Capital took control in the first set winning 25-12. A hard-fought second set had the Cougars winning 25-20. Capital would go on to win the third set 25-16 for the 3-0 sweep. Sophomore Madison Nichols impressed for the Cougars, finishing with nine kills and nine defensive digs. The win improves Capital to 6-0 in conference play. Shelton fall to 2-4 in conference with the loss. I'm Sean Wells, Fry Fiber One Sports. Sideline Sports is being brought to you in part by... Clippers were looking to make some noise in conference play, hosting Highline. South Puget Sound Community College were back on the pitch Wednesday hosting Highline College in league play. Highline jumped out to an early lead with two goals in the first 20 minutes from Riley Johnson and Alex Velasco leading 2-0 at halftime. Highline's Riley Johnson would go on to add his second goal in the 78th minute as Highline held on for the 3-0 shutout victory. South Puget Sound goalkeepers Dawson Hall and Juana Paez combined for nine saves in the contest. Highline finished the match with 19 total shots. The Clippers are back in action Saturday hosting Tacoma. I'm Sean Wells, Fry Fiber One Sports. Previous results in football, Peninsula over Timberline 28-27. Yelm beats Capital 41-27 and Gig Harbor over North Thurston 50-8. In girls soccer, 2-2 tie for Shelton and Capital. Timberline over Yelm 6-2 and Central Kitsap over North Thurston 1-0. In volleyball, Gig Harbor 3, Yelm 1. Central Kitsap beats Shelton 3-0 and North Thurston over Timberline 3-1. Our game of the week this week is Shelton football hosting Timberline. The High Climbers are looking for their first win of the season, coming off a tough 50-0 loss at Central Kitsap. Timberline looking to get back to their winning ways after falling to Peninsula in overtime 28-27. The game kicks off Friday night, 7 p.m. from High Climber Stadium. Be sure to watch the live video broadcast on iFiber One News Radio's Facebook page. Upcoming in football, Tumwater at Aberdeen, Yelm at North Thurston, and Capital versus Gig Harbor. In soccer, Shelton versus Central Kitsap, North Thurston at Gig Harbor, and Tumwater at Rogers. In volleyball, North Mason versus Chimicum, North Kitsap versus Kingston, and Bremerton at Squim. This has been another presentation of Sideline Sports. I'm Jeff Slakey.